beautiful Leos. Welcome to your Leo plus Taurus love reading for the month of September 2022. Time is fluid and if you are looking for a different zodiac sign, check the channel if it's not out already. Ring the bell so you are alerted of when the sign you're looking for's reading is released. Leo, we are looking into feelings, actions, outcome, and oracle. Taurus, you are most welcome on this reading as well. Um, Leo and Taurus, do assign the roles as you wish. I have Leo over here, Taurus on this side for some of you. The reading could resonate backwards, reverse, flipped. Let's see what's coming through for you. Spirit, please show me Leo's feelings for Taurus and Taurus feelings for Leo. All right, your feelings here is the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Two of Swords. All right, Taurus feelings for you, Five of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Hermit. Okay, so... Leo, you look all up in your head about this, Taurus. I feel like you, you know, every single card has a bandage on their head somewhere. I feel like for some of you, this Taurus was or is possibly driving you a bit crazy for whatever reason. Why? I feel like you're trying your best to become unfazed by this person. I feel like you have no idea what's going to happen from this. You have no idea what's going to happen next. You want to have feelings for this person, but you feel like it's not a good idea. You feel some sort of determination towards their energy, but you don't really feel like it's getting you anywhere. Taurus has the Five of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Hermit. So that's pretty interesting. So you could be dealing with a Taurus who is extremely back and forth. They're open, they're communicative, and then they're MIA. You have no idea what they're doing and where they are. I feel like this Taurus has a pessimistic attitude towards love. And this person is not really in a position of opening up their heart fully. Whether that means because they're dating you on a certain level, they're friend zoning you, and or just communication and then MIA. That's what I'm getting from their feelings here. And it's all because they have a pessimistic attitude towards love. They have like no hope in love or no hope in emotion for whatever reason why. So Leo, it might not be your job to get someone to see hope in this. Um, if it's going to exhaust you and or frustrate you. Let's see. Please show me Leo's actions towards Taurus and Taurus actions towards Leo. On the flip side, there could be a very specific story for some of you. This could only be for some of you that might need to hear this. This Taurus may feel like they're trying everything to get you to open up and you're not doing it and you're making them lose hope. That could be for some of you. Okay, let's see. Leo, your actions are the Ten of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. Oh. Um, Taurus feelings, actions towards you, Four of Pentacles, Five of Wands, King of Cups. All right, so this Taurus, oh man, I feel like you're about to give up on this person. You feel like it's better off, you look, oh sorry Leo, you look like, this person just calls you constant stress. I see you either dropping this person or possibly even communicating to them that they're wasting your time and that you want to let this go. You look like you're making a decision that this Taurus is just a whole bunch of conflict for you. And their actions towards you are the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the King of Cups. This person um, could have feelings, but do they open up with them? No. They may cause you a little bit of challenge, which may make you feel like you should walk away. That could be why their feelings are like that. They could want to apologize to you, but not really follow through with the apology. Let's clarify this. Why is the Eight of Cups Leo's actions towards this um, Taurus? Nine. Oh, the Hermit. Ooh, I see you saying so long. I see you taking back your energy. 
Some of you, you're fully dropping it. Some of you are just saying, look, I got to detach from you. The Hermit does say to themselves, the Ace of Wands, the Four of Cups, Two of Cups. I feel like you've tried, Leo. I don't know. You've tried to talk to this person. You've tried to plan things with this person. You've tried to get this energy to open up. I feel like you're tired of trying. Some of you are definitely feeling like maybe a new energy could be better for you. Some of you Leos may attempt to try one more time. Let's see. Four of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this person lacks in reciprocation towards you and the Knight of Cups. But this person still has interest in you. You know, this person has a lot. This is typical Earth energy. This person's patience with opening up is... You're probably like, how the hell do you take so long? Or how do you go so slow? You want to know why this person is going slow? Because they don't know what they want. Because they don't know who they want for some of you. They don't know if they want a relationship. They know they want attention. They know they want to be loved. They know they want something. But is it in alignment with what you're hoping for from this energy? I'd say no. I feel like you're going to drop this or tr attempt to drop this. Uh, I feel like they're going to give a little bit. You know, just enough to make you feel like maybe there's hope. Or maybe you two will get together. Maybe they will get better. Maybe things will work out. Magician, their actions, two of wands, ten of wands. There it is. Seven of pentacles just to continuously keep you waiting. This Taurus is keeping you waiting. Or they're just challenging you and you're like waiting for them to stop doing that. Whatever they're doing, you're waiting for it to stop. You're waiting for them to stop being closed off. You're waiting for them to stop um, giving their time and energy to other people. Waiting for them to make a decision. Waiting for them to come out of the shadows. Whatever it is, you look like you're tired of it. And you're like, you're wasting my time. You're wasting my energy. How could you... You, can, you can't... It's almost like you're trying to understand how can someone not see how amazing you are. And that's what's almost giving you this oomph to say, you know what? Then I gotta go. So, Taurus Cross Watchers. Mm, I don't know which one you think you are here, but if you do feel like you're keeping a Leo waiting, this is a good correlation to what could happen. So, let's see what the outcome is between the two of you. Judgment. Knight of Pentacles, there's that slowness, there's that weight, the star, the Empress, and the High Priestess. You're tired of waiting for this Taurus to see? I don't know, there looks like somebody's really like, damn, how long is it going to take you to see that I'm that person? Or how long is it going to take you to see... That you got to stop doing this or you got to stop being like this or like that. Whatever the case may be. This energy is not seeing it. They're only looking at the fact that love could be messed up for them. Or love can make their life not the greatest. Because wherever down the line in their life that happened to them. Let's see. Nine of Wands. Ace of Wands. I still see this determination um, towards still connecting to each other. But... Somebody wants more out of this. Honestly, the outcome is you two continuously um, talking, but not after a little bit of pullback. Let's see. We have abundance, card number eight. The energy of abundance activates our ability to manifest the wealth we need and the sense of fulfillment that comes from a heart and soul that are overflowing. So a lot of you Leos feel like walking away from this energy, you'll be more abundant. Maybe you feel like they're blocking your blessings. I mean... And the, I told you, you have something, there's something on each of these person's heads. These two people have blindfolds on. This person has like that wound bandage on. So I feel like for some of you, feel like this person's blocking your blessings. Uh, and we have originality card 31. Exactly. I feel like you, somebody in this connection is almost like, how do you not see that I could be abundant? How could you not see that you came up to someone special? How could you keep leaving me on this level of 
waiting for you to be better, for this, for that, for these offers to come in, for you to say that, for you to follow through in this. So I feel like for some of you, Leos, you are questioning what you're doing here, what you're waiting on, or why you're even engaging with this energy. So that's what I got. In terms of zodiac signs in this spread, that could also be in your charts. Very strong Virgo. Um, Aquarius and Pisces. Yeah. So that's what I got. And you have some Gemini over there too. The outcome looks like there's still probably weight around the physical, but the talk and communication is going to re-spark somehow. Because somebody is... <sighs> I feel like because somebody keeps holding on to the hope, and I feel like Taurus doesn't have the hope, so I kind of feel like it's you. But this energy... Mm, I don't like their actions towards you, honestly. They just look keep... They either going to keep you in tension and conflict or keep you waiting in a position. Whether they're talking to you, seeing you or not, it still looks like there's energy around waiting for something more or better or just happier, even more abundant. So that's what I got for Taurus and Leo connections for September 2022. Keep in mind this reading could be reversed for some of you. Uh, thank you for being here and for watching. And if you are looking for a different Zodiac sign, definitely ring that bell so you are alerted and it'll be out within due time. Thank you all. Have a wonderful one. Bye now, my beautiful Leos.